remember back when I was in art school, one of my professors said, what are you going to do in the arts? You know, I said, oh, I don't know. You know, I, I just want to be able to make a living and, you know, maybe commercial art. He's like, well, you don't want to do that. You're an artist. You're born an artist. And he said, what you need to do is to live and breathe art. Whatever you do has to be your art. It has to be you expressing your creativity or you won't be happy. And, you know, that was like 25 years ago. Whether she's Venetian plastering a wall, copying a Renaissance painting on a domed ceiling, or producing a mixed media collage, muralist and fine artist Lisa Agosti is doing exactly what her professor advised. Murals are a natural extension of being a painter. It's a great way to make a living with a paintbrush in your hand, doing what you really love and getting paid for it. I mean, if you think back to Michelangelo, Michelangelo, uh, he, he was commissioned to do that work and that was his life's work. And he was doing what he loved and he was making a living. If you can't make a living as an artist, you're gonna be busy at a, another job and you're not gonna have time to be creative. You're gonna be unhappy. And I know a lot of unhappy artists who are working 40, 40 hours a week, you know, in corporate America. Murals are really special in that, first of all, there's a certain clientele here in New York that really love classical, renaissance, drapery and figures and, and the lighting, the chiaroscuro lighting, and, and for their homes, they just love it. The other side of murals, which I initially really loved, is that they're public. They are very much about where they're placed. They're about the people who live there, about you know, you, either you're telling a story or you're making a statement. And I also love that they're big. I love the scale of them. I love the challenge of the scale of them. That, you know, you might be painting on the side of the building and the eye is like this big and you're up close and you need to be able to stand back and, and it all has to work. So it's a challenge, but it's one that I, I mean, I love, I love a challenge, so. When I'm doing my fine artwork, there's no one to please. It's, it's my vision. It's not someone else's vision. So I try not to make it so pretty, um, so likable. I, I just make it what it is and what feels right. It's sort of an extension of my aesthetic, the, what, what I favor. It's a little earthier. People fascinate me. So I started off with people. I love portraiture. I love capturing the essence of somebody. Texture fascinates me, the surface of my paintings. It's sort of a love affair with texture and patina and character, even color. I mean, using color to describe a situation. For instance, if I'm painting my daughter, it's always lively and bursting with vibrance and energy and, you know, because that's her and that's how I experience her. Whereas if I'm painting a more somber subject, it, you know, it would be darker or, uh, you know, a classical subject would be chiaroscuro, you know, classic terracottas and ochres and stuff like that. But when it comes to the relationship between the two, I'm always learning from one and putting it towards the other. For instance, when I do murals, sometimes I do them on plaster. So I do Venetian plaster. So I've got leftover plaster and I've got this new skill set, which I then bring to, wow, you know, what if I did that? What if I used plasters in my work? Something I would have never thought of had I not had the opportunity to do it for one of my clients. I believe in creating things that are authentic. Authentic materials, you know, like uh, from the Renaissance, wa using waxes. Buon fresco, which is a lime, limestone uh, plaster. Ochres from France. All of these things kind of come together, and, and I've learned all of these new mediums and old practices uh, through doing my decorative art work, uh, which is my business, and, and then I can kind of bring that back to my fine art work. So I guess what I want people to see is maybe a connection. I mean, ultimately, you want people to connect with your artwork. I mean, but if they don't, it's okay. <laughs> this stuff can just hang on my walls, you know? It's just, uh, it really is, it's personal. It's just, it's a need for me to express myself, to talk about things that are going on in my life. And I wake up sometimes, or I'm sitting in my studio sometimes, uh, overwhelmed by all the projects that I have. And I say, oh my God, I am, I'm living and I'm breathing art. Everything I do is art. Everything I do is creative. It's my life. It's, uh, it's exactly what I want to be doing. For Push Pause in Huntington Station, this is Eric Alfredo.